Some sport bikers had a strange and, they say, unprovoked run-in with a Fort Worth police officer. And one of the riders, in fact, recorded it on a helmet camera. One of those GoPro right. cams. The, the video was shared on our Fox 4 Facebook page. The officer did not arrest or ticket them, only seemingly lectured them. In a moment, you'll hear from some of those bikers. But first, here's a portion of what the officer said, starting out by talking about their speed and the recent violent confrontation between some bikers in New York. This crap has made the news. He's been on TV and stuff. Slamming a helmet inside some guy's windshield and pulling him out. Well, why you gotta pick on us? 80 miles an hour on the freeway? I'm not picking on anybody. Why you gotta pick on me? I'm by myself here, so let's. Here's your chance. What? How many of y'all? 8, 9, 10? Here's your chance. Bust out my windshield. Swing me up and down the ground. Don't wanna do that, dude. It's not your best interest, because guess what? There are video cameras everywhere. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Have I, have I cursed this war? No. Have I hit you? No. Have I shot at you? No. Have been rude, I don't think. No. I was admonishing you for your speed. All right, Brandon Todd joining us now from Arlington, close to where the ride started that night with a story you'll see only on Fox 4. Brandon. Yeah, exactly, Steve. And it started right here in this Arlington parking lot. About 10 guys uh, on bikes left for a ride up to North Fort Worth. That's where they were confronted with that officer. We're going to let you listen to more of that video, listen to more of what he said, and you can decide for yourself whether you think it was good policing or not. This video is from Keith Holliday's helmet cam. He was riding with the One Nation Motorcycle Club last week and says he didn't even realize that a Fort Worth police officer was behind them because there weren't any flashing lights. He just comes up, you know, he slams it into gear, in the park, uh, gets out of his car. The officer, who Fort Worth PD has not identified, started scolding the riders for driving fast. He referenced the incident in New York recently where a couple and their child in a Range Rover tangled with some sport bikers and the SUV driver was beaten. This crap has made the news. He's been on TV and stuff. Slamming a helmet inside some guy's windshield and pulling him out. But then the officer appears to go from rebuking the riders to egging them on. I'm by myself here. So like, here's your chance. What? I mean, y'all, 8, 9, 10? Here's your chance. Bust out my windshield. Swing me up and down the ground. Don't want to do that, dude. It's not your best interest. Because guess what? The video cameras everywhere. I didn't know what to think, you know, I, I was just stood there, you know, shook my head, yes, no, you know, I, I was just surprised that it was actually happening that way. Jonathan Pollock was there and is a member of the One Nation Club. He says they weren't speeding, popping wheelies, or driving reckless. He says his group mostly rides for charities like Toys for Tots. We're all hard working, you know, you know we got, you know, presidents of companies, we got, you know, firefighters, everything, you know, in this club. and. Uh, we're all just, you know, good people. You know, most of us attend church on Sunday. Have I, have I cursed this war? No. Have I hit you? No. Have I shot at you? No. Have you been rude? I don't think. Mm -hmm. I was admonishing you for your speed. It just didn't make any sense. It seemed like he was just wanting to vent for what had gone on elsewhere. And, 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 I'm, and I'm sure that, you know, he's dealt with a lot of bikers that weren't doing the right thing. But we're not all that way. Now, of course, we asked Fort Worth police for a comment on this, and they gave me a response, quote, we will review the officer's contact with the bikers for any policy violation or misconduct. Of course, uh, Steve, in all fairness, I mean, the original Facebook post, and you may have tried to watch it, the audio is very, very, very difficult low. to hear. Yeah. We had to boost it ourselves just to put it on the air, to understand it, to get the verbatim. We put the words in the bottom of the screen. So, honestly, that's why Fort Worth PD could not comment today, because they couldn't hear it. They're going to they're gonna go back, enhance that audio, so they can listen to it and better respond. Two Steve. quick questions. I, I did see that. That was sent to me also. Two quick questions. I didn't hear any of the bikers say anything ever. Did, did you? And then the follow-up would be, are, are they going to pursue this further on down the line? Actually, the only thing that was said was uh, the answer to the questions, which was no, 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 no. And then uh, one of them said, sir, and extended his hand to shake the officer's hand. At the end, the officer says, have a good night, and doesn't shake his hand. So that's all they said. At this point, 
The bikers say they are not going to file any grievance or any complaint with the Fort Worth Police Department. In fact, they told me tonight they clearly understand why he said what he said or where he was coming from because they too have been frustrated uh, by kind of the um, the persona or the reputation that some of these reckless bikers have given these guys who try to ride safe. Steve? I'd say that's pretty understanding of them, Brandon. Brandon Todd in Arlington. Yeah. I It'll, yeah. be, it'll be interesting to see where this goes. And you'll follow up, I guess, Fort Worth Police will get back to you after they watch the video? Yep. Okay. Yeah, they're going to enhance the audio tomorrow, see if they can watch it and, you know, get a, get a good enough way to, to respond to what the officer said. Okay. All right. Thanks, Brandon.